All right, and we're back. I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna try and get as much of the catacombs recorded as I can. Basically, picking up where we left off last time. So yeah, found out about the fleeing dragon spirians, their attempted war on the trees, their failure, and then the knowledge crystals being contaminated by the alchemy clubs, potions, laid vigor to rest, and let's see what else is going on down here in the catacombs. Oh good, you're back and just in time. Just in time? What's well, just in time mean? Care of things in Dragonspire, I'm afraid I went off and did some more exploring. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. I just couldn't help myself. These tunnels are so fascinating. Anyway, I discovered the entrance to a new chamber. It was full of amazing carvings. But before I could examine them, there was a tremor and heaps of bones rose up to attack me. I feel like you caused an incident. The confounded things took my notes. Without them, I won't be able to translate the carvings. Please help me retrieve them. Fine. Guess I'm helping this fucking dude. Let's see. Boom. You see? Look at the horrible things. Alright. Hello, friend. I'm joining you. Boom. Skelly man's defeated. Also, I'll be teaming up with that guy because we're all questing. Ah, oh, thank you. I really need to take better care of my notes. Now that you're here, you can protect me while I examine these carvings. Hopefully these undead horrors won't give us any more trouble. Ooh, extract. I need more salt. I think Prince Vigor drops more salt, so I'll probably be farming him after I do all of these quests. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get the, uh, the Dragoons here. I'm a lot farther ahead than I thought I'd be. That double reagents potion or double crafting potion definitely helped out with the timing on that look closely at these carvings here i've been able to confirm that they are indeed druidic yeah they kind of look it but there are some subtle differences between these glyphs and the druidic inscriptions in avalon and albion never been to albion may be far older ancient chronicles claim that the druids came to albion and avalon from an ancestral home lost to history that lost home must be Ravenwood. But the druids talk about going back to the Weirwood in Avalon. So did they come from one place to the other? Or how the fuck does that work? I must learn more. That door, judging by its carvings, must lead to some kind of special chamber. Perhaps a temple. We must open it. Beware, my scion. A dire danger has arisen here in the deep. Oh, thanks, Bartleby. Appreciate you buttoning in right there. Hey, look, more knowledge crystals. Oh, fuck, I actually have to talk to Bartleby. Dark forces are at work. When are they not? Ages ago, when the druids dwelt in the Ravenwood, they imprisoned evils that posed a threat to the spiral. Some of their prisoners have escaped. And whose fault is that? You must return them to their magical slumber, or the consequences will be grave. I will open the door. You must restore the ancient druid's prison. Beyond this door lies one of the greatest secrets of the ancient druids. So the builders of these tunnels were druids! Remarkable! Hmm. I will accompany you into the chamber beyond, wizard. I feel like uh, Bartleby should have addressed them as tree minders, not specifically druids. Because the druids are known for being the people who inhabited Avalon after they fled from the Ravenwoods. Look at this place. How wondrous. There are more carvings in here. We should examine them. Hey, look. Three of the orbs are broken. Guess that means we're fighting three bosses. Um, I've seen symbols okay. like these in ancient texts. If I'm right, this is a diagram of ley lines. They're a legend among historians. I don't know what that means. According to some sources, ancient wizards used ley lines to travel between the worlds of the spiral before world doors were invented. Uh, sounds complicated. These inscriptions here, they say the druids wove the ley lines. They extend along Bartleby's roots, touching every world in the spiral. This proves the theories are true. The ley lines must be how the druids brought their prisoners here. But how did they find them? Where are they? Uh, the druids are dead. The prisoners, uh, escaped. They are 
still here. Most of them. Hello, Scottish Irish lady. How are you? It has been long since any walked in this chamber. When the spiral was young, I began my watch over this place. I am charged to destroy all who trespass, but I sense tree magic in you. Welcome. Oh, huh, I guess that's just a free pass. Ages ago, we crafted the amber orbs, enchanted to imprison the essences of evil things. We kept them here in our hidden prison. Mm -hmm. The orbs were held aloft, suspended in a web of binding magic. But a great tremor shifted the men here that bound the web, and the orbs fell. Well, maybe you should have had better storage devices. I am but a ghost. I cannot shift the stones into place. Write the men here's and the prison will be restored. I ask you in the Great Oak's name. Mmm, fine, I guess. Excellent. Keep going. What the fuck? <laughs> what the shit was that? <laughs> oh, did this one fall to how did this one fuck up? The great prison is restored. Now you must return the orbs to the great binding. Okay. So. So they're being held up, but then they're also in here. Oh, no, these are extras that are not uh, in use. I remember. I remember. You have done well, yet this is but a beginning. Three of the Amber Spheres shattered when the wards were broken. Their prisoners have escaped. To my sorrow, I was not strong enough to stop them. Uh, you're a ghost. The you can't do jack. The of our order, who sought to become the Great Tree's scion, he failed. Obviously. The consumed him, and the evils we fought took root in his soul. He has fled to Avalon. Next is Satharilith, a vile misborn nation that devours thoughts and replaces them with its own. It has gone to Valens land. The last is a horror born in the dark spaces between the worlds. We named it the Devourer. It has fled to the very edge of the spiral. The evil these fiends might unleash is unspeakable. As the Great Oak Scion, it falls to you to stop them. Bring them back, sealed in amber orbs. Boom, all right. And then we take the spare amber orbs and we walk away. And that's what the... So these four pillars keep these things suspended. Three of them somehow broke. The rest are fine. But those are, those are all spiral-ending catastrophes. The next chamber is the heart of our web of ley lines. The prisoners used them to escape into the spiral. Follow them and do not tarry. I've been tarrying long enough talking to you. Um. All right. To defeat the renegade druid. Boom. We going in. I'm stuck. So some trace of the order still survives my brethren lacked the courage to destroy me before and now the spiral will pay for their folly Ooh, you can tell he's evil because he's purple and uh red and black and just all edgy looking also fuck these little skeletons and the little tree things that come after them like they just suck also, this person got the, the Vanguard robe as a life wizard. That's pretty good. Either that or they crafted it. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to assume they got them both as drops, which is really good. They have even got the wand. What the shit? Why? The wand is not worth it. Unless that's a stitch. Maybe, maybe it's a stitch. I'll have to see. The noise these skeletons makes is weird. Also, let me check for gear. Yeah, no, it's all Vanguard stuff, except for the hat. Uh, Vanguard's wand. Uh, ooh, she got the amulet. Nice. Yeah, I, all she needs is the hat. I wouldn't recommend the same in ring, but... Uh, that's all she needs is the hat, and then she can start fucking crafting Dragoon shit. God damn. Not even Turn I'm that de dedicated. One. This path leads to your doom. Cool. Uh, they got this. I'm gonna throw some heals. Uh, 
boom, do that, and just kind of see what happens. And the plants burn. I just realized he got hit with a fire dragon and took no damage while he was barely on any health. Man, they've got like a lot of resist. I do like the Avalon atmosphere though. It looks really cool. I like the mix of orange and green trees. And like little blue, pinkish, purplish sky. Really nice. All right, let's see. Apparently, this is one of the other ley lines, I guess. Wait, you are the great tree scion? I have grown far beyond the paltry powers I once sought. I pity you who are now Bartleby's slave. Yeah, it doesn't really come with benefits. I shall free you from your misery, and then I shall release an eldritch plague that will consume the spiral. Cool. All right. Well, um. I'm assuming if somebody joins late, the cheat will happen. So this is basically what I'm running. I'm going to get rid of shift. That's pretty much useless and put in a couple more uh, adapts. Uh, heals are good. Shield, that shield is worthless. I want some storm shields. Uh, those will be good. Aside from that, there's not really a whole much more that I can do aside from keep the team alive. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm also going to put three mass storm prisms in. You know what? I might as well put like two of those in there and stock up on my, my stuff. Boom. Hopefully I can pull my enchanted faints. Well. I mean, technically, I got a faint. Uh, I'm going to keep that reshuffle just in case. But yeah, so this fight, uh, super difficult. But I'm, I would imagine somehow the cheats are going to break because we joined late. Um, fuck, I can't use this until I use this. But I can't use this because I don't have the enchant. I'm going to do this and see what happens. Get ready to say goodbye to all your fucking pips. I really hope this works. That would be amazing. Let me pull up Renegade Druid. Druid. He was supposed to summon minions, right? And those minions are supposed to have... 100% uh, uh, intercepts so that his outrageous health pool can get whittled down by AoEs and shit. However, by joining late, we seem to have, uh, we seem to have completely negated his, his enemies, which are the real, th or his, his, uh, his minions, which are the real threat. Like, those guys are the ones you want to worry about. Um, wait, she's doing that, so, but I'll keep that in my hand, but I can't really do anything. Yeah, yeah, so like I just told them, he was supposed to summon minions, uh, we late cheated the shit out of him, so, it's basically, somebody has to do 140,000 damage, uh, and that's it. Uh, and then, for anybody who's curious, Renegade Druid drops the Athames, so he is essentially a worthless boss to farm.
Ooh, nice. I'm surprised that, uh... This is going so well. I mean, I'll throw out a protected feint if they hit and they don't kill. But, yeah, aside from that, he's about to die. I'm gonna look for... Boom! That is perfect. Oh, it'd be better for them to both hit just to make sure that he actually dies. This is a fight where it's basically cheesable. Like, the biggest deal was not the 140,000 health. It was the three minions spamming hits on you in your entire team and killing your entire team. That was supposed to be the biggest issue. Which now is meaningless. Uh, shit. You'll kill next? Okay. Well, let's hope. I'm going to heal next round just to as a victory heal, maybe. I don't know that she does 140,000. Well, then again, she's like a max player, so it's a possibility. Who knows? So I see one, two, three, four blades and aura, and then two traps to convert, so basically three traps since the well, yeah three traps since the convert essentially counts as a 30 40 percent boost possibly mm, what else does she have she's got regular of those so I, I those aren't valuable if she hits if both of them hit i'll blade nathan because that's all i really can do that's a questionable spell uh if he doesn't then i'll just heal us or uh oh she's got heals okay boom perfect we get heals everybody gets blades uh nathan over there might do is that one two three four five six uh close to 20k damage by himself he doesn't have an aura on but i don't know i'm interested to see how much she's gonna do like i don't know that she will kill or oh she had a fifth blade i didn't even see that one boom 88k she was a little bit off but that was that was a good amount of damage nathaniel or nathaniel nathan over there that three plus those two i'm gonna assume he does close to 20k but i don't know for sure I'm also completely guessing, uh, assuming he doesn't, like, get crit blocked or anything. But, I mean, this is probably the fastest Renegade Druid gets taken out by a normal team of randos. So, I am happy with that. Oh, dude, the Devourer fight might be glitched now, too. Maybe. Hey, hey almost 30,000. That's more than I expected. And now I can throw up a feint. And tank all this lovely damage. Thank you. Brace yourself, Scion. Eat my nuts, druid. Uh, boom. We'll throw that out there. I got some heals just in case. We're sitting pretty well. Yeah, he's got 20k health left, so he'll be dead very soon. This is going extremely well. This is one of the fights I was worried about. And then I got into the catacombs, started fighting. Uh, what the hell is his name? King De uh, Detritus, Detritus and realized that apparently all of the bosses are just completely fucking cheesable by having at least three players and having one of those players join late. I don't know what it is with late cheats and fucking up bosses uh cheats but i like it i'm i'm cool with it it makes things a whole lot easier for dungeons that if you don't have a, a full team or you don't have an experienced team they can still be pretty hard uh -huh. boom throw that out there so yeah 
he's got the faint. He removed everything, but uh, he didn't remove the faint because it was protected, which is great. Throwing this out there, cleansing her. She'll probably be the one to kill Renegade. And then I'll probably heal this round because he's probably going to hit us with something. He does like a lot of damage. So I'm hoping he doesn't just save up his pips and just start destroying us. That would be terrible. It's like we get to the end of the fight and he just fucks us for no reason. Ooh, what's that? No way. There's no fucking way he manages to kill himself like that. It only lasts like two rounds, right? Well, what? Yeah, Will Dill 1600. Dude, I kind of want him to. Uh, I'm going to throw this out. Oh, never mind. She's killing this round, so it, it does not matter. Um, Boom. We'll go for a... A, a, a pixie. I changed my mind last minute. That would be amazing if I could have gotten Renegade Druid to kill himself on a, on video. That would have been awesome. It's happened before. He was at like half health, and but he just kept like... No, no, he's at a quarter health, but he just kept like not doing anything. I think he like shielded himself once and then it was just over. It was great. I don't actually know if he can shield though. Let me make sure he can before I say something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what he did. It was like two years ago. No, he can't shield. He must have done something else. I don't know what Dark Nova dislikes. Maybe it was a weakness or something. Oh, he's not dead. Well, that fucking sucks. 07, lads. 07. He wasn't buffed up too much, was he? No. That's 2,000 through my resist. Alright, I don't have anything useful right now. So, um, she's going to do that. Uh, pacify self. That's interesting. I'm going to do that and then his backlash might kill him. It might happen. I really hope it does. Hey, that dog has a little pair on his barrel around his neck. That's from Pirates. Boom. Oh shit, she killed him. Nice. Dude, don't give me a, a ring or anything. Or whatever you give. I don't want it. No! Don't return me to an eternity of nothingness. I beg you. Oh, it's too late to be begging. Alright. That was uh Renegade Druid. That that wasn't terrible. Now time for Sarathril or whatever his name is. Boom! We're in the next one! Yay! This I am pursued. Know this, puny mortal. Once my puppet breaks your will, your mind will be mine to toy with. Nice. This is the dungeon where we fight the boss that dropped the 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 the, the amulets. Yeah, Vanguard amulets. And also, this is Valencia. Four little dead horses. Oh, never mind. He's apparently casting a spell. And they're dead. What? What have I done? My mind is my own again. Stranger, beware. The thing has gone into the palace. If it reaches the king and the queen, all Valencia will kneel before it. I cannot face the horror again. I am uh, too weak. Okay, she gone. You are stronger than you seem. 
but the druids who imprisoned me ages ago were far stronger. How can you hope to stand against me? Yeah, so, uh, Serathoril, he, uh, uh, does mind possession jutsu on him. So, yeah. The, the, the king and queen, they are in hideous danger. You must save them. Yeah, because the palace guards aren't capable enough, I guess. Oh, you persist. Admirable, but your doom is sealed. I look forward to consuming your mind and using your power to conquer the spiral. Hey, yo, show me what that mouth do, though. All right, give me just a second. Okay, so from what I'm understanding, uh, apparently the absolute first cheat should be that whatever minion is closest to Satharilith will cast 100% intercept and once we kill that minion the next minion will do it then the next minion will do it and then after all three minions are dead he'll resummon the, the minions a second time but in a different version and then we have to kill those and then kills uh s s set whatever the fuck his name is a little snake boy over there uh but if i understand how cheats break technically the cheat should uh fuck up uh, whenever we join late. However, I want to see what happens. These are worthless. All right, they're joining late. This is fine. Let's see what happens. Um, if not, we'll have to kill these guys one by one. I don't have a protected faint. That's worthless. So, I'm gonna plan on. Oh, that's perfect. I like the fact that he has that. That allows me to do this. All right, so we broke the intercept chi. That's that's perfect. Oh man, this is so fucking great. I wonder how the devourer breaks. If he even does, because I was fighting the Devourer with people, but nothing really seemed to change. But that was a while ago. I don't remember everything. So, yeah. The main issue with this guy is out of the way. Oh, that's perfect. That minus 90 was awesome. I probably should have followed up with the Virulent Plague, but I'll do that next round just in case. Well, <laughs> never mind. Fuck me, I guess. Really nice that we went first, even though we've gone second in every single one of these fights. Uh, but yeah, uh, what is his name? Satharilla. I keep wanting to call him Saratharil, but I know that's wrong. Satharilla. Yeah, so Satharilla drops the Vanguard amulets, but also seems to drop the Oh, wait, no, it's Dragon's Fire Vanguard's charm. So, yeah, he drops any of the Vanguard amulets. And apparently evil magma peas. But this should not be that difficult of a fight, considering the fact that, uh... Uh, what is it? His, the main cheat is gone. Let's see. Boom. That's happening. Add oh, shit, he's supposed to have a ton of pierce. I just remembered. Perfect. That's what I wanted to pull. Oh, wait, never mind. We're stunned. It didn't even matter. Yeah, I completely forgot. This guy's whole shtick is the fact that his minions keep him alive for super long because of intercept. But since that's negated, all we have to worry about is his insane resist, which is at like 70%. What does this guy have? Boom. Nathan. Uh, he's wearing the soldier stuff. It's probably for the best. Um, Does not have a lot of pierce, it looks like. Maybe like 
18? Uh, 18 plus 20. So 38. He will pierce 38 of his 70 something pierce. And that doesn't help. Uh, shit. I wish I told him to pack Shrike. I completely forgot. But it's whatever. If we had a fourth player, this would be way easier, but I wasn't about to sit here all night. We were sitting around for like 20 minutes before we got someone. Oh, that's weird. One of the, the guards eyes bugged out whenever he was he was showing a different different shot of him. Like one of his eyes, like swirly eyes was just gone. That's worthless. I'm gonna do that. And then. I'm also gonna do. Which one is the best option? I'm gonna heal. He is dangerously low, and I really don't want. Uh... Fuck, what is his name? Satharilith. I don't want Satharilith to uh, kill him. Okay, I'm just going to start calling him uh, Snake Arilith. He looks like a snake. I should be able to remember that. I need to heal again soon. I guess adapt is not the best for here. Because I'm not getting hit with rank 6 spells, so it's virtually worthless. Don't worry about myth pips. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, trap this. Actually, no. I'm going to make sure he at least has these pierce blades. Can't just focus purely on defense because then nothing will get done. Well, not as much will get done that needs to get done. I want to rephrase that because they're he's obviously stacking up, but he needs those pierces. He needs what is that crap on the boss? Oh shit, the boss has a shield too. I might have a shatter. I don't I don't know. It depends on whether I put it in earlier. Alright, what's well, my best move here? This is worthless. This is worthless. Keep that. That's not a bad move by him. I need to know what Nathan's doing because he I really don't want him to attack yet. I'll just pop an aura. Fuck it. Wish 
your powers into nothing. Oh shit, I was gone. What happened? <laughs> well, that sucks. I honestly thought that it was just the single ward removal. I didn't realize it was two of them. Having a drink. Um. So it's fucking worthless. Um. He's not dead yet. Not a whole lot of hits going on. So. I will. Throw this out there. So he can regen some health over time. We're not really sitting anywhere bad. But next I'm going to focus on getting some more traps on him. Or on the boss. And I might as well make some popcorn. It's gonna be a long fight. But luckily we don't have to worry about the intercept sheet. That is the best thing. If there is still the intercept sheet, I would have gone with the Sun Serpent Strat, where you basically blade this man up to oblivion. It works best if you have a second fire, because that fire will be able to support. And then, you have, uh, it's a really good hand. Then you have, mm, not the best, man. Well, it's whatever. It's, uh, this is the best we can do, given what we've got. And the popcorn's ready. Let's go. usually try to be sneaky about that, but I'm more invested in trying to figure out how this, this is going to go. That doesn't reactivate the cheat. Oh no! Turn your powers against you. Not fucking idiot. I should have told him not to hit, just in case. Now the boss takes no fucking damage. God damn it. It's like, why did you hit? That was so not worth it. Alright, well... Fuck, that sucks.
I didn't even think about the fact that that cheat could restart itself. Fuck. Um, well, as soon as he kills this fire minion, that should be it then for the minions. That might end up doing something. I don't know. He totally would have died too, I think. Maybe, I don't actually know. I'm just being salty. Ooh, that was like almost perfect damage for that minion. doing that um I'll have to remember that for the future. Um, nothing played. Boom, we'll do that. Have a debuff, because if not, he might die. No, he's got 5k health. What's the worst that could happen? We got this. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. I don't have any pierce for him anymore, I don't think. Gain Shadow Pit. Not that that'll be useful. Um. Boom. Throw that out there. Change my pips back to life. And. Hmm. What the fuck? Bro. Uh. I've got this and only this. That's not going to help, man. Oh, perfect. I have some peers. 
Oh, he's got that. Okay. Um, this might kill. Bro, somebody on the Wizard101 Discord on the team up kiosk asked, can somebody help me with the boss? And I was about to respond just to be a jackass. Like, uh, hey, can anybody tell me what boss they need help with? And then somebody responded to him saying, be more specific. Hilarious. Does this kill? It might not. Oh shit, it did. Oh, uh, no amulet. Our mind is our own again. We are in your debt, wizard. Against the mental powers of this creature, all our military might was useless. If only we still had our mindless automaton soldiers to defend us. All Valencia thanks you, wizard. Mm-hmm. Neato. How many crowns do I got? 25? How much is the chest? Like, 75? 50. Oh, well. That'll probably be it for tonight. I don't know if I want to tempt the devourer. I'll go, but chances are shit just is. Okay, we're going in. Woo! Going in. All right. Boom. Get rid of that. Um, we have, it looks like a life and a death. Yeah, life and death and then fire. So I guess just. Yeah, that, that's the devourer. His whole shtick is he'll eat you, spit you out, and ruin your fucking day. Um. I don't know, maybe he's hitting. Ooh, we'll cast Death Ninja Pig. Nice. Alright, he's def I'm, I'm definitely running support then. Um. I might want to have some of these. Uh, adapt is probably not going to be super useful, so I'll just kind of keep those in there. Um, let's see. Devourer. I just need to check his cheats real quick. Um, at the start of the first round, he'll cast summon minions, so we can probably negate the first minions. After the first round, again, after the fifth. So every, every now and then he will summon minions, but we can probably negate the first minion summons. Um, if a wizard has a blade present uh, for three rounds, including round cast power, will AoE steal charm. So we're going to want some uh, protections. Uh, what about faint? Uh, if a wizard places, uh, for example, da, 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 da. okay, so no faints, faints are worthless, boom, and yeah, I'm going to want some debuffs for sure. Okay, apparently I'm not doing what I wanted to do.
No, I'm not going to tell them that they're trash, but they should know what they're doing wrong. I mean, I I could probably get rid of some cards to pull stuff easier, but I mean, fuck. It just sucks. It's like I'm trying to do two different jobs at once while being expected to also help blade them up, but they can't even do enough damage on their own. Not to mention, the, the chick who wants to heal doesn't heal worth shit. She doesn't have the gear. She's got Malister gear on. It's like, how am I supposed to keep you guys alive, for, fight for Arch Mastery Pips, but then also get devoured and not be able to do jack shit? And they're dead. Boom. Yeah, fuck you guys. Like, that life chick was the weakest link, and that death guy was super underwhelming compared to what I thought he was going to be capable of doing. Like, he would have been more support, like, helpful as a support wizard than anything else. Even if we all we had was the one hitter. Like, it doesn't help that the devourer is just super hard on by himself. We can negate his minion cheat the first time. However, it just, that life chick just sucked. Like she was, she was trying to play like just blades, blade and trap support without bothering to actually build up pips to heal. And then healing means nothing if you can't out heal his damage. Not to mention throughout all of that, I've got to fight for them for Arch Mastery, which it probably would have been a good idea to equip an, a Life Mastery Amulet. But even then, that might have slightly helped. But then again, my heal completely relies on Arch Mastery, so it doesn't even fucking matter. So one thing I don't like about Arch Mastery is I have to fight with my own fucking teammates for Arch Mastery. It's so stupid, and it's not even worth it if i can just get a team at my level because i mean then we all get arch mastery all right we're doing this we got two level 160 deaths and a level 160 storm uh people i do not know obviously they're randos so fuck it we're going in blah 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 I uh, hope we get first, because if not, that's going to suck. Yeah, that's, that is kind of weird. Uh, I can't really double up on that. I'm going to keep this in case he shields, but right now... Um, shielding these guys and debuffing is my main priority until that guy comes back, so that I can then uh, heal us all again. Because every time he spits this guy out, we'll probably take about... Uh, oh, here it comes. About 2k's worth of damage with no debuff. Maybe 1700-ish. Like, it's... This is a difficult boss. Like, oh, fuck. That's not good. Boom! We're doing the Devourer! This is definitely my first... Not my first run doing this. All right, well, that was a failed run. All right, we're doing another Devourer run. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this man right here, uh, Jason, ran in, said, let's do this. Ran in, started the fight, got somebody killed, himself killed, while us two just sat here and waited. 
and it, it happened in the span of like 30 seconds. It was fucking amazing. It was the fastest wipe I've ever seen. That's so fucking annoying. It's like I just explained why fleeing was a bad idea. Boom, guys, we're doing the catacombs again. I've done the central like five times. Let's go. What is this? 60, fire. Hmm. Well, not the best ending. Probably fucked. Oh, yeah, uh, doing another devour run. We're only like two two runs in or uh, two rounds in. So, yeah, we've got an ice who's probably going to be trying to hit or maybe supporting. I don't know. He got devoured first, so can't I, I have no ability to see what he's doing. We've got a myth wizard who's blading herself and put a fan on the boss. So the boss will inevitably turn that into 100 percent damage buff at some point for himself. And we've got a storm wizard who at the very least he's using pure strats he probably does not need uh oh what the hell is that thing he probably does not need uh shrike considering the fact that he's got like 200 something damage uh so yeah i am waiting for the inevitable like this is I don't see things going well, but who knows? Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Cars hitting us. Maybe like rat spin or no. I don't think they give that thing rat spin. That, however, that is GG. That is game over. So we we lost. That's a hundred. Did that thing pop a hundred percent blade? Where the hell did they get that? The block. Did the boss remove that faint? I gotta see this. It looks like it. Yeah, the boss removed that faint. Fuck these guys. That was a waste of time. Bro. I can't fucking believe it. it this is... This is... Oh my god. We just got in here 12 seconds ago. I was like, hey, what's up? Y'all know the cheats? Everybody ran in immediately. And then they're like, nope. We don't know the cheats after immediately starting the fucking fight. It's like, why... Why?
Oh, great. Everyone's dead. Oh, great. They're all gone. Losers. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dumb shits. Let's see how fucking fast this run falls apart. And almost immediately. Damn. What can I say? I just hate my life. Uh, so we just jumped in here. We got a life. Probably max life. Uh, level 135 with some paradox gear and then we finally have this is like the second run i've done with the death wizard uh she's got bad juju seems like she has a bit of an idea of what to do so uh yeah it's uh it's going uh not really much of, Ooh, that's nice mm. But yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, probably not gonna go well. The Life Wizard just straight up ran in there and said something along the lines of, come on, we're in a rush, and it's like, bro, we're fighting the fucking Devourer. Like, probably the hardest boss in the game. But anyway, uh, overall, I'm hoping that we win. I'm not sure if this is like the same person on two different accounts or whatnot. But yeah, this is the deck setup that I'm running. Oh, uh, is there anything else I should run? No, it's just kind of worthless. Um, I actually don't know. Maybe like some pierces in there. I don't really see a whole lot of need for those. Uh, mm, Grendel's amends is pretty worthless. Uh, yeah, there's not much I can really do aside from support. Oh, hold up. Loof limb death charm. All right, so obviously we're not going first. That sucks. Um, that is what it is. I don't know what she's... She's doing that, so I need to do this. And yeah, at some point, hopefully I'll get my pips up. Doesn't help that we're going second. Like, that's an easy two to 3,000 damage across the board. I don't know why I keep forgetting to group up with people. Ooh. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was a uh, make cast. Fuck. I was hoping we could get some Legion shields early on. Well, that sucks.
Uh, I might as well get ready for a healing aura. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I guess I can go over the cheats. Obviously, this boss will spawn minions in the beginning. However, um, if you happen to uh, have more than three, three people or more and one person joins late, well, then the cheat just gets negated. The minions don't spawn. So you can get dis disregard his first three minions if you do that setup properly. Next thing is that he will swallow people, devour people. Um, they're out of the round, or out of the game for like three, four rounds. And then they get spit out and everybody takes damage. Which is not the best, but it is what it is. Um, and he only does that like two, maybe three times. So only two people or three people get devoured and then it's done, it's over. He will also summon minions. Uh, he'll summon like up to two more minions from here on out, I think. And after that, they're done spawning. So if you can wait out the devourer uh, long enough for, to keep your heal team, reduce enough damage, and then just fucking take him out, you can uh, you can win this. It's doable. It's not. It's difficult, but it's not hard difficult to pull off with a team of randos that don't know what they're doing but not hard if you just follow you know work around the cheats also if you trap this boss he will at some point remove the traps and then put up a you know for every trap he will put on a plus 100 percent damage blade i had somebody take thirteen thousand damage from the boss it was nuts Right now, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to throw this out there. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god, it's so nice to have somebody throwing out bad juju effectively. Yeah, having bad juju is not essential, but it is fucking huge. It's the difference between taking like a thousand damage versus a hundred or to two hundred damage because the boss may or may not have only one virulent plague on him versus a juju. Someone's gonna get pulled. It might be her. No, nope, that's Blade Steel. That's fine. Yeah, in this fight, like, put out your un unprotected blade first and then throw it out on top. Like, alternate them. That's kind of how you keep your stacks. He's about to pull one of us next round, I think. Or maybe it's at the end of this round. I don't know.
Oh, there she goes. That's that's perfectly fine. Let's see. Let me get rid of the shield. And what was she doing? Was that a juju? That is. All right. I'm going to protect her. It's not going to do. It's not really necessary compared to, you know, have. Oh, well, shit. Never mind. That might be on me. If it is, that's fine. I've got 5K health. Might only take like two or 3,000. Yeah, 2,000. Not bad. Ooh, that's okay. That's not bad. I actually can cleanse the last person. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Ooh. I don't get to see the female Shadow Strike uh, version a ton. I think I'm going to save that Enchanted Pixie for when we need it. Because we're about to, she's, it's about to get spit out. Or that one player is about to get spit out. Well, oh, nice. I'll throw that out there. I don't know what the, uh, the minion can do. Well, he's fucking me up. That's one thing he can do. She's got Shadow Strike glitch. Her her backlash isn't going down, but that's fine. I'm not going to lie. I should have packed more blades to help out. I didn't really think that I'd have to worry about healing and debuffing or not having the healing I didn't think I would not have to worry about not healing or debuffing as much, but then again, it's good for me to at least have it. I should have just thrown some elemental blades. The life one didn't tell me what she was doing, so I just kind of assumed she might be trying to hit too. So. Imagine if that could do full damage. Oh. Hey, well, we got extra 25% damage. What is that? Oh, no, that's a myth.
Can I not cleanse her right now? I don't think it's worth uh, tempting it. Yeah, Tabitha. Do that. I wonder if my will cast cleanse pet can't cleanse her because she's glitched. going to do close to 1500 plus oh never mind For some reason i thought the devourer was hitting with that i was like shit we're dead even though we've all got more health than that it was just i i don't know what i'm thinking this might end up being the run like i've had so many issues with runs lately I don't know why. I've never had, like, I was fighting Bell Spawn, and then the group decided they wanted to go fight the Sarathoril and, uh, fucking the Devourer, and it, 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 nothing happened. Like, no no issues. Like, we, I, we might have wiped once, maybe, but aside from that, no issues. Uh, let's see. It might be worth just taking them out. But I'm gonna let her make that call. At some point we're gonna get an earthquake and that's just gonna fuck us. Yeah, we're fighting the Devourer on easy mode compared to what I've been experiencing. Like, two healers, two debuffers. Sorry, let me say that. A half healer, half debuffer. A straight debuffer. A healer. Like, we're, we're golden, pony boy. Ooh, that's bugs. Oh, wow. That fizzle, though. That was a nice fizzle. you can beguile those little spore things little noxious gas gloops i'm gonna try and pull that one blade that i have but i don't know if hers was a treasure card or not i didn't even bother to look yeah the female version of shadow strike is pretty cool it's not something you get to see a whole lot.
minus 30, minus 90. It's so nice not taking two to three thousand damage each attack from the devourer. This is amazing. Like the only nitpick that I have is the fact that they keep accidentally getting their blades picked up off of them. But aside from that, they're doing good. It's it's happening, guys. This is the run. Probably. I'll be able to do this fucking dungeon and move on. Seriously, I've been here uh, all week. Trying to every other every other night of all week stream twice and then didn't even bother doing it uh one night or i only did attempted it once and i was like fuck it also the lost pages are out i'm gonna try and go for that uh dragon riders vigilant robe this time or again no last time 14 plus days of farming didn't fucking get nothing Oh, that was just... That's all right. That was... That was all right. Not the best. Not the worst. Those protected. They're not. Oh my god. Throw it up there. Throw it up and give, it, give her that pierce. She needs it. Shadow Strikes bugs. It ain't doing what it's supposed to do. I hate this spell. What what is that gonna do? Like 50 damage? Debuffs that are great. Like Virulent Plague is great, but when you can stack two Virulent Plagues on each other, it's pretty nice. But when you can stack two Virulent Plagues on top of a fucking bad juju, it just God, it's so nice. Oh, she's probably got square jewels, too. So, that one's... Where did that... Okay, that was a regular dragon, so... Most of the damage was up front, but there's still a little bit left, so... Chances are she almost hit for, like, 20 plus K. That wouldn't be bad. That would be a quarter of its health just gone. Fire from above with the remaining blades. That's not bad. Not a ton of blades, but they're there. I don't know how much that did. Oh, no. Double damage through some debuffs. Not the best. Alright, note to self. Fire from above, pretty shit spell compared to this boss. Or when used on this boss. Alright, well, I can't really focus on heals right now, so I gotta pull some fucking debuffs. Uh, let me get rid of one pigsy. Yeah, she's so far she's done 20k and it's still going. Yeah, so we just got a fresh round of Juju's, which is nice.
man, we're slowly getting there, I know. But we're getting there. This is so much more... So much better than my last teams. Oh, nice. She's got blades. Yeah, 30% of its health just gone. What is 80 divided by 3? No, that's a South Park meme. Uh, 80 divided by 3 is 26,000. So, or 26. So, 80 minus 26.666 repeating. Or 26. 26,666.66. So the Devourer should be on like 53,000 of its health with 33s repeating-ish if she exactly did 30% of damage. Um, Devourer currently on, ooh, almost at half. Damn. That's nice. Oh man, see, that's how you do it. You outlast the devourer so he stops doing his cheats. And then then you can start like blading up and then you can start like just doing damage. This is so nice. Let's see. Uh what is it? If I beat the devourer, I'm just going to Put these all together, throw it out, and then start farming the, um, the Lost Pages event for that fucking robe. And then I'll get back to Dragoon farming the next week. Because I've got enough reagents if I were to get the items. I just need the the initial art, you know, clothing articles to, like, the hat and the boots and the amulet. I don't know, maybe I'll do a mix of Dragoon farming and you know, everything else farming. Right now, they're doing good. He's stacked up with debuffs, even if he has those 100% blades. The fact that he's stacked up with debuffs just helps so much more. So let's say this would initially do like a 4,000 with that 100% blade. This might go down to half, or well, a little bit less than half, which is fine. We've got healers, we are sitting good. At worst, we all take like 4,000 damage and we just have to heal up not even oh my god nice Like, it's almost kind of boring at this point because we're just setting up to do a couple, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 damage and then run it back. But we're surviving. Oh my god. That is amazing. What was that? Was that a treasure card? No, no, it's not. Whenever she hits, I'm going to give this to her. But until then, I'm just going to continue uh, doing this.
bro an accidental play that turns into the saving strategy what are the odds that this actually works i can see her actually stealing it and then it immediately gets stolen back from the devourer that would be so sad it'd be funny though If she steal that steals that, that's gonna be fucking huge. Um There's a chance it works. There's a chance it works. Fizzle! Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure that was a double blade, so that should be fun. No. He took off the hundred blade that wasn't protected. Was this like 500 maybe? There's no way it's going to reach a thousand. 63 63 damage with the 100 percent damage blade that means it would have been a 30 like 31 damage hit per hit had he not had that blade it's amazing Hey, yo, Devourer, give me a wand just because. It would help me complete a, a stitch set if I really wanted to have one. Oh my god, why are the dogs barking? Somebody go shut them up. Doing good. I can get rid of this. I'm running low on cards, so I might just reshuffle myself. But... I think we're gonna win this. He's already at half health. Oh, she's going for Scorching Scimitars. Where... Is that a, uh... Did she use Wings of Fate? I didn't even notice. She must have, right? Ooh. This might do close to 2,000. This might do close to 1,000. This might do close to 700. This might do close to 500 across the board. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Our average went up. Or our average damage taken. Bro, I think this might be it. Save for any small amount of damage we're not able to do. This should be a game over. Like, she's got a lot of blades on. I feel like I barely helped contribute to the fight except for just support the supports. Eight blades and a pierce blade. We got this. 
Come on. 59,000. It's over. It's fucking over. Oh my god, I got the Vanguard Mythic Ring. That's fucking terrible. That's that's fine. It's whatever. I, yeah, that's awesome. Let's go. Do I even have my my sound on? Um No, I don't. That's okay. Just gonna talk to prison warden. Hey yo, Druid Ghost Warden, we are back. Here's the, the crystals. Is restored and the prisoners are returned. Bartleby has chosen a mighty champion. It is time for you to take up the watch we once held. What? No. I just faced like the Devourer, which was the worst enemy ever. I'm not doing this again. If it happens again. May your roots grow deep and your branches tall. Fuck you. All right, Professor Hargrove, let's end this chapter. This is positively overwhelming. What we've discovered here will revolutionize our understanding of the history of the spiral. I'll be honest, Dragon Spire history involved in this, pretty dope. The secret history of the Druids, confirmation of the existence of ley lines. I could write a dozen books about it all. Tenure, here I come. Oh, and I'll definitely need you to write me in-depth descriptions of all three of the entities you captured. Ten pages each, shall we say? I don't know about that. Incredible! So much history discovered in a single chamber. What other secrets could be lying down here, just waiting to be found? Fuck you. Don't go touching none of these goddamn amber orbs. I will kill you. I will kill you if re you release those monstrosities back into this world. Uh, but yeah, uh, that that's it. That's done. We're done. It's over. I can go back to farming the catacombs. I or I can go back to farming the the lost pages. It's finally over, and now my watch has ended. I might uh I might go farm Prince Vigor a bit. See if I can uh get some of them boots, or at the very least, maybe uh, Sarathril or Sath Satharilla. I it's, it's, that's a fuck. I knew I messed up his name earlier. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little escapades. Uh, I think I'm going to split this into two parts. First part being the Dragon Spire part, and then the second part being the uh, the Warden Dungeony part with the Devourer and whatnot. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, even though it was headachingly painful to deal with noobs and just ignorant teams, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, I'm going to go farm me some boots. Later, bitches. No, I keep pissing.